a huge weather pattern change will be coming to the United States in January, and this is going to bring the threat for several Arctic blasts in the first couple of weeks of January. In addition to that, we are also expecting several snowstorms that could lead to tons of snow in parts of the United States. So in today's forecast, we're going to break down exactly what you need to know about this big weather pattern change that will be coming to the country as we go into the first couple of weeks of January. So let's begin with the general weather pattern that will be impacting the United States, beginning with the jet stream right now. So as of now, we have a very big dip in the jet stream located over here in the southeastern tier of the United States, and this is actually what caused a severe weather outbreak yesterday and is also causing some severe weather today up and down the east coast of the United States. This is something that is a bit more common for December, and we are not really going to see much more of this until our next big storm, which will probably end up falling sometime in the first couple of weeks of January for a severe weather maker. Here's where the big change comes. We are going to see a ton of cold air building up in Canada over the next several days, and we have a lot of warm air that is currently sitting in almost the entire United States, and it's been like this for weeks now. We've yet to really have a big Arctic blast ever since the middle of December. So all this cold air is essentially building up here in the Arctic, and it's eventually going to crash down into the United States as we go into the later half of next week. So really sometime around January 5th, 6th, or 7th, that is when we're expecting our first of probably several big Arctic blasts in the United States. And then after this, it is just going to be a continuing pattern, we think, all the way through the middle of January. Right now, the GFS model is indicating that we are going to have a strong northwesterly flow working its way over the Rocky Mountains. And if this does end up happening, which there could be some changes as we still are far out, but if this were to happen, we'd be talking about multiple days of just cold air penetrating out of Canada from a strong northerly flow in the upper levels. And this would literally lead to cold air for potentially weeks. I mean, that's what the GFS model is hinting at. Now, will that exactly happen? We'll have to wait and see. But I do think there's a very good chance that we will at least be below average for most areas east of the Rocky Mountains in terms of temperatures for the first few weeks of January. Now, we do expect a lot of snow over the next few weeks. And main reason why is because we're going to be seeing some big Arctic blasts, and that'll eventually create the potential for some big time snowstorms. And the latest from the Climate Prediction Center is that they are indicating a slight risk of heavy snowfall between January 4th and January 10th, anywhere from the Central Plains back into the Midwest and the Ohio Valley, and also back into the Northeast. And we're going to talk more in detail on where we could see snow and if we'll actually see some significant snow in these areas. But before we talk about the threat for winter storms in January, I do want to talk more about these big Arctic blasts that'll be coming to the country in the first couple of weeks of January. So beginning with early January, the first and the second, we are going to get a shot of cold air for much of the northern plains back into the southeast. This will basically bring many areas to around or just below average temperatures in the first few days of January. Our first shot, though, of Arctic air will likely come sometime by next weekend. So around January 4th or 5th, across areas like the Midwest and back into the Ohio Valley and Northeast. This one is more certain at this point to happen. What becomes a little bit less certain is what happens beyond this, right around the 7th and 8th of January. Right now, the GFS model is indicating that we are going to get a large plume of Arctic air across much of the Midwest and the Great Plains, which would lead to well below average temperatures in many areas and would set up the potential for some sort of winter storm event, maybe in the Ohio Valley or the Northeast. Here's where things also get even more uncertain is as we go closer to the January 10th to 12th time frame, because the GFS model indicates that we are going to get even larger and more severe Arctic blasts, potentially even in cases, historic type weather in terms of very below average temperatures that could even be record breaking at times. That's what the GFS model shows, but granted, this is well over a week out from now, and there definitely will be changes between now and then. Now, the European model, on the other hand, has handled this a little bit differently. Instead, it is still showing that cold blast here over the next few days as we go into Wednesday and Thursday, and then eventually as we get closer to January 6th and 7th, it shows a much more severe Arctic blast for much of the United States, and it really shows the potential for well below average temperatures and perhaps even record-breaking temperatures. So what does this all mean? Well, basically what we think is going to happen in the first couple of weeks is that we are going to be seeing some well below average temperatures. Now, exactly how cold it gets and will it be historic in terms of record breaking cold does remain uncertain, but we do think it is going to be a possibility in the first couple of weeks of the month of January. Now, in terms of the actual temperatures that we could potentially see out of something like this, again, it's very early to put a specific number on this as we are still talking about something that is well over a week out from happening. But just to give you an idea, there is definitely a chance that we could go sub-0 
zero in several areas like the Midwest and the Northern Plains for actual temperatures. And we might even drop down into the teens and 20s in areas like Texas. But again, I do want to point out that this is still very far out and there will be changes to the forecast. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so you're notified with the latest videos because we'll continue to keep you posted with the latest on this trend. It is an ever evolving situation right now. And we do think again, we've been thinking this for weeks now that there's going to be some very cold air in early to mid January. It's just a matter of how cold it's actually going to get. We really can't nail a specific number yet on what it's going to actually be here in the country. The wind chills, on the other hand, we still can't really nail a number here. But again, just giving you an idea of what may end up happening sometime around January 6th or 7th. Again, notice how there could be some wind chills well below the you know negative 30s and even negative 40s. So it could get pretty cold out there. But again, take it with a grain of salt. There will be some changes to the forecast. Now, something that's becoming a little bit more certain is the potential for snow over the next couple of weeks. One thing I want to point out is that we are likely to have a shot of snow as we go into actually Monday and as well as Tuesday across parts of the Midwest and the Central Plains. This isn't going to be anything out of the ordinary. It's just some light to moderate snowfall. Could lead to a few inches in areas like Iowa and maybe Nebraska. But really, the bigger story will be going into the later half of the first week of January, sometime around January 5th or 6th. Right now, several models, including the European model, have been indicating for a couple of days now that we're going to see some sort of big-time winter storm. And we are due for one, by the way. We are due for some sort of big winter storm like this. Now, granted, again, the positioning of this, where all the snow falls, is again very uncertain. But I do want to point out that there is a trend here that we are noticing that we're probably going to end up seeing some sort of big snowstorm as we go into the first week or two of January. And the better chance of where that'll be happening would more than likely be the Midwest, Ohio Valley, and perhaps even the Northeast. And if we saw a storm like this, a severe weather outbreak would also be a possibility uh, through areas like the Dixie Alley, for example, something like what we maybe saw yesterday, maybe to a slightly lesser magnitude, let's hope. And then as we go into the second week of January, that is where the European model shows something out of absolutely thin air. I mean, we're not going to be talking about a winter storm in the southeast. You might see some photos on Facebook or Twitter about this. It is almost impossible to have a snowstorm this far down to the south and east. So just keep that in mind. I'm not saying it can't happen. It's just almost impossible. So just ignore a lot of that stuff that you're probably seeing there over on social media. And just for comparison, this is the GFS model in the first couple of weeks here of January. Again, I was ha notice how it has that little snow event going into areas like the Central Plains and the Midwest as we go into Monday and Tuesday. And then eventually, as we get closer to January 3rd, 4th, and 5th, not really a whole lot in terms of snowfall, but eventually, as we get closer to sometime around January 7th or 8th, it still indicates in that same sort of time frame like the European model was showing that we could see some sort of snowstorm. It shows it even further south on the GFS model. So again, there is uncertainty here for sure, but we are expecting an increase of snow activity here in the United States, especially in the first two weeks of January. Now, to wrap this forecast up, I do want to mention that, again, snowfall is definitely coming in January. I do think that we're going to have some big winter storms. These are a couple of the ensemble members that also are kind of agreeing with this trend that we are going to see a pretty good amount of snowfall somewhere in the Midwest or even the Ohio Valley or Northeast during the first few weeks of January. Now, again, where exactly we see all that snow is very uncertain. This is a very broad overview, and you'll notice that this snow even goes into Florida, which, again, is not going to happen. But you'll at least get the idea here that there's a higher confidence that we are going to see an increase of snowfall within the next few weeks of January with all this cold air that's going to be coming out. Again, we're pretty confident that we're going to see a big Arctic blast sometime in the first couple of weeks of January, perhaps even a couple of them. And that could lead to, again, one or maybe even two different winter storms. So it should get pretty interesting. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We'll keep you posted with the latest on all this crazy stuff that we think is going to be coming here in the first few weeks of January.